Today, I want to get into Jungkook and several BTS members were found at the Harry Styles concert. V has a funny reaction to the concert as well. And we need to talk about people saying that Jungkook is being intimate with a male idol. And then we have Jungkook talking about his lover type. So hey, dumplings, it's Dave Desai. Hate it or not, make sure you're subscribed with the notification bell on. Grab your dumplings, he's playing book merch, and let's go. I think a lot of armies are very curious as to what type of person Jungkook would be interested in dating because secretly they want to be that person, right? Well, I'm here to tell you exactly what is believed to be Jungkook's type as Jungkook's husband. I obviously know. I'm joking, but this is what he may have said about his type. I think there's a lot of controversy about what the type may be, ranging from a moment in a variety show where Jungkook had talked about how his parents met. If you don't know the story, Jungkook's mother is actually older than Jungkook. Jungkook's father, and apparently Jungkook's mother fell in love with his father's good looks and actually ended up hitting on him first. And of course, the two ended up together. It was later hinted that Jungkook wanted something like that and wanted to date a woman who was more forward and older. And then others had hinted that Jungkook wanted to date someone who was younger. But I honestly don't know where people got that information. But I think a lot of the members could like younger women. Why not? However, it was believed that Jungkook has a preference in terms of body type. Many people who assumed that he may prefer younger women think that maybe Jungkook would prefer a petite frame. However, it's alleged that Jungkook actually prefers someone who is more athletic and muscular. It, he is believed to love someone who has a more healthy and active lifestyle. And this makes sense because Jungkook is very athletic too. He is a boxer and he obviously has a motorcycle too. So it's no wonder that he may prefer that because he would want his lover to partake in those things too. He also talks about how he would prefer someone who likes video games so they can all play those things together. Now, of course, when Jungkook is believed to have his preference, any athletic or possibly gamer girl that Jungkook stands next to is going to be assumed to be his lover. And I think this is ridiculous. People also use this argument to say that if a person doesn't look like all the things we just talked about, that Jungkook would for sure not be dating them. But what is interesting to me is that that is just not how typically things happen. How many of you are dating or even married to someone who is not your type? Because it's extremely rare to find someone who fits your standards absolutely perfectly and then on top of that find someone who actually likes you back. Instead most people probably date someone that they need and actually completes them rather than someone who fits a list that they may not even have chemistry with. So understand that a type is still a type and it's not the bible. Jungkook also talks about how personality fits more than looks and if you're someone who is in the entertainment industry then looks are a dime a dozen and good personality is actually more rare. Jungkook has also been on the news more recently due to his appearance recently at a Harry Styles concert in Seoul. And yes, BTS members were recently at Harry Styles concert in the US, but when Harry decided to do another show, guess what? The boys decided to pay another visit and enjoy the amazing music by Mr. Styles. Tang is a big fan of Harry Styles, as Harry Styles is a bit of an old time and even jazzy sound to his music. Many people spotted Tang and Jungkook at the concert and vibing. There's been footage of them even just walking the halls of the concert venue and it was definitely weird to see people focusing on the boys more than the actual concert. But I think this is so interesting. People were looking around to see if there were any celebrities around. It's funny how the fandom always manages to spot BTS at these concerts and I'm starting to think if they know that BTS likes a specific artist, they will look around to try to see if BTS members are anywhere. I think it was weird to track the boys through the hallways of the venue and record them like that. And many argued that this was BTS's personal schedule and fun time in which case they should not be recording and stalking the boys. However, I don't think this constitutes stalking as it would be difficult to know that BTS members would show up and even if you knew, it would probably be difficult to even secure a Harry Styles ticket, let alone one that was very close to the boys. So anyone that is recording is probably someone that just so happened to be there. The fandom often loves to call anyone who sees BTS in person a stalker. I think it's often jealousy. Like, why did you get to run into them and not me? I think what is interesting is that the boys probably knew 
they were being recorded and just decided to ignore it. Tiang actually had a reaction that blew up headlines and people were extremely shocked by his reaction. Fans recorded Tiang bopping along and laughing and he even appeared like he was laughing and having fun which made everyone happy that he was enjoying the time there. People were even more excited to think that Tiang had a great reaction when they played Dynamite at the Harry Styles concert which was of course unexpected. And I don't know if they did that because of the members being there. I don't know exactly where the members sat, but I don't think they sat in any special seating, so they likely got tickets the same way we all get tickets. People think that Tang bopping along and being happy was likely his way of responding to the people that were recording him, to show everyone that he was indeed having fun and doing well. But I think he was just doing that to have fun, and there was no particular reason why he was bopping along other than him just having a good time. However, there's no issue with the members being recorded normally, or recorded having fun because they have nothing to hide. The issue becomes how the fans deal with the footage or the quote-unquote BTS crumbs that are there. There had been speculation, there had been terrible death threats over it, and things that don't make any sense. Harry Styles collaboration had been rumored the first time BTS members were spotted at this concert, which obviously did not happen. I think this rumor was also fueled when Jungkook covered Harry's song Falling. So not entirely the fandom's fault. But if you are not aware, some fandom issues have to do with shit. A lot of people believe that Jungkook and Taeyang are dating, and some of those people are very heavily into that anyone outside of Jungkook and Taeyang will receive hate. I mean, severe death threats. So if Jimin comes close to Jungkook or Taeyang, death threats to him, and etc. Then we also have other ships between other members like Jimin and Jungkook that's a problem. So for example, Tang might get death threats because Jungkook is seen next to Jimin and they oppose ships because Jungkook and Tang are dating. Stuff like that. And while I believe you can have ships and it'd be a fun thing to ship other people, it might just be that because none of them is confirmed or proven to be real. Like the members have to confirm themselves, then it's real, right? The issue was believed to exist when Jungkook was seen at the Harry Styles concert with Tang. Since people believe that they're a dating, other ships would come in to attack the opposing member. So Jungkook was actually receiving a lot of hate for just simply appearing next to Tang at the concert. So Tang has been doing his own solo stuff for a bit and has been appearing with the Wooga Squad. These are Tang's actor friends and Tang has been doing shows with them. Shows like In the Soup, Friendcation, and other variety shows. Friendcation shows everyone's life on vacation and shows the boys being fun and cute with each other. If you do want to watch this series with me. I do react and stream the series on Patreon. We have a great time over there and it's a lot of fun. I will link that in the description and there's currently a $1 tier that is open if you're interested. But some haters were actually saying that Jungkook is trying to insert himself into the Wooga squad and that Jungkook should not be. All these people attacking Jungkook come from this idea that Jungkook is intimate with a man. Now, whatever Jungkook does behind the scenes or whoever he is intimate with, we will never know nor should we. That is private info. Jungkook has talked about liking girls. That doesn't mean he only likes girls, but we know that he likes girls. So send hate over something that is not proven yet and hate over the idea that he is intimate with Tang or Jimin is just unnecessary. And I don't understand that. Why waste your time sending hate over something that we don't know as fact yet? And why send hate at all? Like, do you enjoy being angry? If I see something I don't agree with online, I just move on. And if it's something I really don't agree on, i.e. laws and political things, I go down to a town hall and complain. If it's not at that level of seriousness, I don't complain because it's not worth my time and energy to care about. Even if Jungkook was gay and dating his members, why would I care if he decides to be with one over the other? Or even if he cheats on one to be with the other? Like, who even cares? If you like his music, listen to his music. But I'm curious to know what you think of V's reaction to Harry's concert. What do you think about Jungkook's alleged type? And then what do you think about the shipping hate that Jungkook is getting? Let me know what you think. Make sure you check out my Patreon for more videos. Link down below. Thank you to this lovely comment right here. Love you. Bye.